Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well. So this is the 24th part of our MCQ series in which we are discussing expected questions for NET environmental science examination. So this is the unit 4 environmental geoscience and today we will be discussing about environmental hazards and geological process. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So here is our today's first question. So the first question is severe drought is declared if and here the correct option will be option number 3 yes deficit of rainfall if it is more than 50% of the normal rainfall then it will be called as severe drought for example hum agar lenge koi ek place whose average rainfall is 30 mm per year so if in some year the rainfall is less than 15 mm that is half of that average rainfall then that year will be called as severe drought year for that place so I hope you understand this basic concept. Let's move to the second question. The second question is, which one of the following type of faults is likely to be connected with the most dangerous earthquakes? So here, the correct option will be option number C, reverse deep slip. So let's see what is meant by normal deep slip and reverse deep slip. So what happens if the rock mass above an inclined fault? So here fault means in geological terms it is the fracture or discontinuity in a rock. So when there is a fracture in a rock then there will be two parts that is the upper part and the lower part of the rock. So when the upper mass moves down then it is called as normal deep slip. But in case the rock above the fault that is the upper part rock moves up. So if it moves up the upper तो तब कहते हैं कि रिवर्स डिप स्लिप जब वो नीचे की तरफ मूव करेगा तब उसे कहेंगे नॉर्मल डिप स्लिप जब वो ऊपर की तरफ मूव करेगा तब उसे कहेंगे नॉर्मल डिप स्लिप सो इन दिस केस इट इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट डेंजरस काइंड ऑफ अर्थक्वेक्स जो अगला क्वेश्चन है वो ये है कि द रैपिड डाउन स्लोप मूवमेंट ऑफ आइस और स्नो इज कॉल्ड एज व्हाट ऑप्शंस में है मड फ्लो लेयर्स लैंडस्लाइड और एवलैंचेस So here the correct option will be option number D avalanches. Yes. So let's see what this meant by avalanches. So these are the event that occur when a cohesive slab of ice or snow lying on a weaker layer of ice or snow slides down a steep slope. So this means if there is a sheet of ice which is weaker, it will be a stronger and larger sheet mass of ice is there then it will slide down because it will not be able to hold its strength and its mass so it is an example of avalanches let's move to our next question the next question is among the following gases which is not emitted by the volcanoes and here the correct option will be option number a yes the oxides of nitrogen are not emitted by volcanoes but the oxides of sulfur and carbon dioxide and H2S are emitted from the volcanoes. So you have to remember is a very easy formula that volcano no and NOx no. Let's move to our next question. The next question is the destructive powers of tsunami result mainly from which of the following effects? So you have to think properly and here the correct option will be option number C momentum and long wavelength. So momentum we all know that is the mass into velocity is the momentum of the wave and next is long wavelength. So we have to know the wavelength of the tsunami wave that is the distance between two consecutive crest or the distance between two consecutive trough as shown in this figure. So let's move to our next question. The next question is given below is a list of natural disasters. So as you can see these disasters are Hudhud, Chernobyl nuclear plant disaster, Cyclone Funny and Bhopal gas tragedy. So what you have to do you have to write in the correct sequence of chronological order. So chronology which is very popular nowadays this word 
the correct option will be option number A. Yes, the Bhopal gas tragedy happened in the year 1984 and next one will be Chernobyl nuclear plant disaster which happened in Ukrainian SSR in the year 1986 which was followed by the Hudud cyclone in this question which will be followed by Hudud cyclone which was happened in the year 2014 in the month of October and finally cyclone funny which happened in the year 2019 let's move to our next question the next question is an increase of one unit of richter scale represents an increase in amplitude by a factor of what so we all know that this uh, richter scale is used to measure the intensity of earthquakes so here the correct option will be option number b 100 yes for example if the richter scale is representing the value of an earthquake as 7 and if the next earthquake event happens and the richter scale shows 8 that means the increase in one factor means 100 times increase in its amplitude so 100 guna ज्यादा होता है उसके एम्पलीट्यूड में उसके पावर में सो गाइज दैट्स ऑल इन दिस पार्ट ऑफ दिस लेसन सी यू सोन इन आर नेक्स्ट वीडियो टिल देन टेक केयर एंड कीप लर्निंग एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल इफ यू हैव एंड सब्सक्राइब टिल नाउ